Hi everyone, this is Nana from Tracking202. I wanted to show you one quick thing to watch out for when you're doing your upgrade from Prosper202 version 1.72 or earlier to Prosper 1.8.3 or later. So um, what we're looking at here is the 202-config PHP file for 1.72 and um, notice that it's a pretty simple file here. Um, when we upgraded to the new version of Prosper, we added some extra stuff at the bottom of the file. And we've noticed that people are upgrading and keeping this file with the upgrade file and seeing errors when they try and go through the installation with you. So what you have to do is take the sessions from here, uh, move them into the config-sample uh, file, and then right over the 202 config file so that all this extra information is included. Either that, or you could also just copy the stuff from the bottom of this and move it over here. It really depends on how comfortable you are with editing PHP, PHP files and also whether you feel you'll make a mistake or not. Let's do it the safe way and uh, copy uh, log db name, db user, and db password over into the new file, and then you could write over the old file with it. So we just paste in the new information into the sample file, and then once that's done, we're just going to save as the old version of the file, and then um, get rid of the sample file and just keep this. And once that's done, you can go through the rest of the process, which involves running through the installation wizard and um, getting your new version of Prosper uh, 202 installed and running. That's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, as always, these, the free, there's the free support forum that you can post on and I'll pass through that and um, answer questions um, as they come in. All right, thanks.